In 15 years, we've actually only had one complete four years of walk-on experience. Hello, Breckley, is that yes. correct? I'm Kerry Green. First of all, there's steps and stages. And step number one is, can they follow instructions? You passed the first test because I said, take a couple laps. And I have had teams come in here and keep on running and running and running. So you, you paid attention, you passed the first test, and that is taking instruction and being alert. Great job, okay? They better be on their A game from a physical perspective. So that's two steps. Third one, can they provide something to the team? Can they just have the basic concepts of team play? Set up a screen, pick and roll, drive, dish out. So that's what we're looking at. We usually get some excellent young women who love the game and they got great character and uh, could easily be part of our, our team. There is a standard that uh, we need to have to play at a Division I a level. We're always pulling for the underdog. I'm pulling for the um, walk-ons. However, there's a business side of it, and uh, it is difficult. We always come to that last game, that last shot, the buzzer goes off. You know, that's life. There's some difficulty. There's win loses in, in life. I hate to see uh, someone put so much time into the game of conditioning and go through this process and, and uh, not be successful. It's not easy that we say, I'm sorry, you can't be a part of our program. I want to again thank you for the enthusiasm and effort and the truth is, you know, I won't be able to keep everybody. I want to wish you the very best as you continue you know, getting your education that's going to carry you much farther than the number of points you scored per game. And uh, just this atmosphere to grow um, in the Lord and your faith too, because that'll carry you even beyond education as well in preparation for life and uh, honoring, glorifying God with your service.